Hey everybody, uh, today we're going to make a beef and vegetable uh, cheesy casserole and it's real simple to make and again it's one of those recipes that you can uh, pick and choose what you want to add. You can add different things than what I'm adding uh, and just make it the way you and your family would like it. So I'm going to go ahead and put you down, and if you watched yesterday's video, or today's video, I had a lot of trouble with the tripod. So today I'm hoping that that is fixed, and I guess we'll just see. So here is the pan I'm going to mix everything in, and it is just um, the frying pan that I've cook the uh, hamburger meat in and what I used was about five patties of already um, formed hamburgers that I got at Sam's Club and so I just fried those and then I cut them in um, little pieces I was trying to show you well about like that and um, that'll work just fine. And you can um, use regular hamburger meat if you'd like. You could even use chicken if you'd like. But in this, we're gonna put the hamburger. And here is about three-fourths of a medium onion. It's cut in pieces like this. And then this is about a third of a medium cabbage, and I cut the pieces about like that. So I'm gonna put all that in. And you want the cabbage smaller because you want it to cook and be tender. Uh, when you take this out of the oven. So, we have this in the pan, and now we're going to add a bag of the Southern Style um, hash browns with onions and peppers. Or if you don't like the onions and peppers, they have this plain. But it's $1.50 a bag at Walmart. And I thought about using just half a bag, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and just use the whole thing. And I think this is going to make maybe enough that I could make two smaller ones and freeze one. But anyway, um, there is, well... There is the um, hash browns in there. And I'll get that mixed up a little bit. Okay. And next, I'm going to add a cup or a container, a can of cream of mushroom soup and I'm going to mix it with a can of milk. I probably should have already had that um, mixed. Let me grab the milk. And then mix this up. And my bowl could have been a little bit bigger. 
but mix this up. And this is going to make more broth with the cabbage and the um, a little bit of more uh, juice from the meat. So now we're going to, well before I start I want to go ahead and put my spices. I'm going to put some onion salt. That was about a tablespoon. Tablespoon of garlic, salt, and basil will be about a tablespoon. And then mix all this up. And I think I'm going to just go ahead <clears throat> and put it all in the one casserole dish I have and what I have left. I'll uh, put it into single servings and then freeze that. And uh, that makes it just simple and quick a lot of times when we need something quick. So I'm going to take this casserole dish and spray it with some ham and then start putting this in This is a lot of food. I didn't realize it was going to make this much. Wasn't really thinking, I guess. Now to get this pan clean where I cook the burgers, all I have to do is put a little water with um, some Dawn or whatever um, uh, dish detergent you have, put it on the burner and uh, let it simmer and it will take all that off. But here is the um, casserole done. I'm going to put it on 375 for about an hour. It wouldn't have to go that long, but it's got the cabbage that I want to get done. And at the end of the hour, I'm going to take the uh, foil off and I'm going to put some cheese on it and stick it back in the oven until that cheese melts and is bubbly. So... Uh, when I get finished and the um, casserole is ready to taste, I'll come back. I don't really see the need to show me putting cheese on it. So, it's going to cook for an hour. I'm going to take it out and put cheese on it, put it back in the oven, uncovered, and let the cheese get good and melted and bubbly. And then I'll come back. Hey y'all, the casserole is ready, so we'll take a look at it. It looks so good. And there you go. I would pick it up and take it closer to the camera, but it's too hot and big to do that. But anyway, it does look really good. I just took it out of the oven, so it's going to be a little hot to taste, but everything is real soft and cooked through.
and I did cook it for about an hour, then took it out and put the cheese on it, and it wasn't in the oven, but maybe five minutes with the cheese. But it'll hold its shape if I had waited a little bit to, to cut it. But anyway, this is it. You can see the steam on it. Okay. I'm still getting used to the to the uh, tripod. Anyway, I'm going to give it a taste and tell you what I think. The smell is so good. I can really smell the cabbage. It's going to be too hot. Excuse me. It's just really hot. It is delicious. Um, all those different flavors of the vegetables together along with the cheese and the meat is just really, really good. Um, it needs a little salt and pepper on it, I think. But otherwise, it's great. And uh, I don't know what else to say, except I hope you give it a try, and I hope you enjoy it. I believe this will freeze real well uh, if you make uh, too much and want to freeze some for later. I think it will freeze real well. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening, and have an even better tomorrow, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.